guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're into boxing and into the latest of boxing and opinions, particularly opinions, raw opinions. So it looks like Deontay Wilder is angry once again. Now, I want you guys to know this. Deontay Wilder is an angry man. He's angry because he's bitter and he's jealous and he's envious. You understand me? He's envious of the success that Anthony Joshua has had in his career. I want you people to 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 to, to, to think about this for a second. Put yourself in Wilder's position. Before Joshua was even a professional, Wilder had about 30 professional fights. Yes. Before Joshua ever turned pro, Wilder already had compiled 30 professional fights. Mind you, against bums, but still 30 fights. Back then, people were looking at him as the next great American. Or at least they were expecting him to be the next great American heavyweight champion. Back then, Vladimir Klitschko was the unified champion and Vitaly Klitschko was the WBC champion. A lot of American boxing fans were looking at Wilder as the next great American uh, heavyweight. They wanted to see him be Klitschko, dethrone Klitschko. People were talking about Klitschko versus Wilder back in 2013. What happens? Wilder didn't have the confidence to fight Klitschko. He decided to duck Klitschko. He instead waited and waited until time passed. And then once he saw the opportunity of Vermeer to Vern winning the vacant the BBC belt that Vitaly Klitschko took when he retired from the sport of boxing. He then took the opportunity to face Burmain Stavern and win an easy title. Uh, but he basically won an... Because Burmain Stavern was Taylor Murray for Deontay Wilder. So he won an easy uh, title against Burmain Stavern. Right? When he won that title, people wanted to see him unify with Klitschko. With Vladimir Klitschko. And a lot of people had high hopes for him. But once again, Wilder and his team just didn't have the confidence and the backbone to put him in there against Klitschko. They probably felt he would have lost to Klitschko. And he had the belt that they didn't want to ruin that. So they probably were planning on waiting until somebody beats Klitschko or until Klitschko retired. Because at that point, Klitschko was almost 40 years old. During this time, a young heavyweight named Anthony Joshua turned pro. He turned pro, right? Mind you, during this time, Deontay Wilder was making around... 901 million dollars right during this time anthony joshua turns pro i believe he makes like 400 grand in his very first fight anthony joshua is making the exact amount of money that deontay wilder's making in his like eighth pro pro fight maybe even more because i believe he got paid like two million when he fought dillian white and dillian white was just a contender all of a sudden, this young UK heavyweight is getting a lot of hype. People are talking highly about him. And he's getting paid the, ex the same amount of money that Wilder's getting paid. Yet Wilder has about twice or three times as much uh, professional fights. He had about 30, you know, 30 plus fights at that time. While Joshua had about 9, 10 fights at that time. Joshua then goes on to win the IBF strap. Then people are going around... Saying they want to see Joshua versus Wilder. That's when it starts. Because now he's the champion. They want to see two champions fight. So, you know, logically, they're going to see two fan bases going after each other. Saying they want to see these two fight. Because the minute Joshua... Because before Joshua became a champion, people were looking at Joshua as a guy who could be... I remember people saying, like, back in 2014, I think Joshua can beat... Uh, Wilder but once Joshua became a champion that's when everybody started doing this whole dividing where you want had Deontay Wilder fans saying Deontay Wilder will destroy Joshua and Joshua fans saying Joshua destroys Wilder well what happens after this Joshua then does what Deontay Wilder never did fight Vladimir Klitschko and that fight made the Anthony Joshua a, a superstar he sold out 90,000 uh, tickets um, that was a massive fight and I believe he made like $13 million in that fight. In the last couple of years, Joshua has gone on to unify three out of the four major belts at heavyweight. He has basically leapfrogged, absolutely leapfrogged Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder was supposed to be what Anthony Joshua is right now. 
Back in 2013, people were looking at Deontay Wilder as the next American great heavyweight. He was supposed to unify against Vladimir Klitschko. He was supposed to be that heavyweight. But because his team didn't have confidence in him, they never allowed him. You know, they didn't allow him to go and do that. And instead, they chose the safe routes, and that was against the Burmese to Ruin Rocks. That was an easy tailor made fight for Deontay Wilder. Meanwhile, a young, uh, you know, UK heavyweight came along and did what Deontay Wilder was supposed to do. He became the unified champion. He started making all this money. And on top of all this, he had less than like 20 fights. So imagine being in Deontay Wilder's shoes. People five years ago are hoping that you are the next great American. You never become the next great American heavyweight champion. You just, you just win one belt. And then this young uh, heavyweight from the cross the pond named Anthony Joshua comes along. Does everything that people wanted you to do. He becomes unified. at Because for years Wilder was saying I'm going to be unified champion. He does everything that you were supposed to do. Becomes unified champion. And on top of that becomes uh, a multimillionaire. So, of course, Deontay Wilder is going to be envious of Anthony Joshua. Of course, he's going to be jealous. Of course, he's going to be upset. Because he was supposed to be what Anthony Joshua is right now. He was supposed to be uh, extremely wealthy. He was supposed to be the unified heavyweight champion of the world. But because his team didn't have confidence in him, and because he himself chose not to fight and unify against these other champions when he could have way before Joshua came along, way before Joshua became a champion because they decided to go that route where they're going to play it safe and fight these easy opponents and cherry pick these easy title defenses. Because of that, now he's paying the price for it because now everyone considers Joshua as the real champion. Joshua's the one making all the money and you, Deontay Wilder, are just basically consider the invisible champion the champion who is a champion but people don't really look at you as a champion you know what i'm saying because you just you're fighting these low level guys so people just don't look at you as a champion so you're like the champion but you're not really the champion you're you're, you're like josh and uh, bothers like in the shadows of joshua so of course he's going to be jealous this is why he's angry you notice every time he talks about joshua he's always seems angry he seems upset uh, because he's angry. He's just an angry, uh, bitter heavyweight, Deontay Wilder. Because he wishes he had what Joshua has. Um, and, I, and I've already said this. I've said this in the past. If he if, if he could change this Wilder for himself, he could change this if he simply fights Joshua and beats him. Because if he does that, trust me, everything's going to change. You know, he's going to get the praise. He's going to get the money. The money's going to come, homie. The money's going to come. But you have to fight Joshua and you have to beat him. You beat Joshua, the money will be rain. You know, while the, there will be raining money on him, but he has to get over this idea because Wilder still has this idea in his head that he's the true champion. You're not the true champion, and you're not the A side. Okay, you can't. You you, you have no one fooled. You're not the A side, Deontay Wilder, and you're not the true champion. You've been fighting easy opposition. Way before, you know, when you were a contender, a heavyweight contender, when you became a champion, you cherry picked these easy shit level opponents that some of these people I never even heard of. And then, and on top of that, you're not a draw. You don't make that much money. Uh, you don't sell out crowds and you don't, and you make like 1.5 million a per fight. Joshua, on the other hand, was the one putting in the work. Joshua was the one who was fighting quality opponents, defending his belts against quality guys. And Joshua was the one making 13 million. So you have to just bite down and Put your ego to the side and realize that Joshua is the, basically the guy who is the number one heavyweight, not you. And he's the A-side. So if you want to, so what do you have to do is stop being greedy and take the fight. And if you want to be in his position, beat him. You beat him, everything changes. Now you're the A-side. That's just that's the way it works. But you have to beat that fighter. That's just the way it works.